Okay, good day students, how are you? So in this lesson today, we are going to understand the difference between dynamic and static websites. Okay, so I believe that last year you guys have learned uh, on how to develop website, but I'm sure that you did not understand what type of websites you were actually developing. So websites are actually divided into two types. We have dynamic websites as well as we have static websites. So let's try to find out further the difference between the two. Now I say the static websites are the ones that are fixed and display the same content for every user. So they are usually written ex exclusively in HTML. So in other words, when we talk about static websites, we are referring to those works uh, to the website that only displays content. They only display information and there's nothing happening on that website. There's nothing like maybe registration or maybe uh, login here and so on. There's basically nothing on that website. It's just static. When something is static, it's, it's, it's still. Nothing is happening. And then we have a dynamic website. On the other hand, a dynamic website is one that can display different content and provide user interaction by making use of advanced programming and databases in addition to HTML. So in other words, with a dynamic website, we are mainly referring to websites that basically offer user interaction, meaning that a user can do something on that particular website. They can register, they can log in, they can probably respond to certain, uh, you know, whatever it is. So there's an interaction happening on that particular website. Okay, as you can tell, static websites are easier to create. I mean, they are very, very easy to create and you can even create them in a day if possible. Only if you have the, the information that you need or the content that you need to put on that website, you can basically develop it in a day. And then we have dynamic websites, which actually requires more work because we are dealing with the front end as well as the back end and so on. Okay. Now, they say that a static website usually come with a fixed number of pages that have a specific layout, okay? When the pages runs on the browser, the content is literally static and doesn't change in response to user actions. In other words, the static website do have fixed number of pages that can probably be like an about us page, uh, contact us, and so on, all right? But it, it, it actually says that the content of that static website is literally just static and it doesn't change in response to user actions. A static website is usually created with HTML and CSS in simple text editors like Notepad. In other words, a, a static website is normally just created with pure HTML and you can use CSS for styling it, but that's all. If you need a website smaller than three pages, opting for a static website is a proper choice. Building it doesn't take as much time or effort as in the case of dynamic website. So this just actually refers back to what we said. When you are developing a static website, it doesn't really take that much of your time. And especially if you want to develop a very smaller website for a certain company just to display their information, then static website is the right deal to do with. So it says that if pages of your website must look different, the HTML code can easily be duplicated on each of these pages containing the three necessary changes. So example of a aesthetic website is what you see right here. So you can see that this website just have like a blog about this and um, comment. Is this comment or connect, right? So there's nothing happening on this website apart from just displaying information about this personal this is actually a personal website so there's nothing happening on it so let's look at the advantages of the static website so number one it's easy to develop it's very cheap to develop all right so easy to develop because it doesn't require you to use php and other things to connect it to the database because there's nothing happening it only requires you to use html and css and that's it cheap to develop even if you uh when you tell the developers that you want a static website, they won't charge you a lot. Uh, cheap to welcome, requires uh, very little data to store on the server. It doesn't require you much data for storing and so on. And the disadvantage is that it requires web development expertise to update the site. Of course, it will require somebody to update the, uh, the website, despite of how easy it is to develop. And the site not as useful for the user, meaning that it's not user friendly because there's absolutely nothing happening and uh, the content may become stagnant because i mean there's nothing happening at all 
Okay, now let's look at the dynamic website. So the dynamic website compared to the static website, they are purely informational, but a dynamic website is more functional, meaning that there's quite a lot of different functionalities that you can have on the dynamic website. So it allows users to interact with the information that is listed on the page. Of course, that requires utilizing more than just HTML code. Uh, static websites use only client side HTML and CSS code, while the dynamic website, they rely both on the client side and the server side. Okay, so this is where you can bring in your JavaScript, your PHP or the ASP. The client side of scripting refers to the code that is executed by the browser, usually with JavaScript. Meanwhile, server side scripting refers to the code that is executed by the server before the content is sent out for you to the user's browser. So this is an example of, um, of a dynamic website. You can see that there's certain, you know, functionalities right here that the user can actually, uh, you know, make use of. Uh, they can register, uh, they can try to learn more about certain stuff and probably take quizzes and so many other things. Now let's look at the advantages of a dynamic website. Uh, the website is much more functional, much easier to update. They can connect to a database and content management system, okay, which is a CMS. Uh, new content brings people back to the site and you know when people see something different every time it's much easier for them to come back. Uh, they can be used as a system that allows users or professionals to collaborate. Disadvantages is very slower and it is of course expensive to develop. Accommodation is a bit more expensive as well in terms of storage and so on. However, there are important differences between the static and the dynamic website. Number one, in static web pages, the subject and the content of the web page remain fixed. And in the dynamic web page, they change depending on the execution time. Static web pages are created using HTML, while dynamic pages are created using PHP, JavaScript, and action scripting languages, which is ASL. Static web pages navigation and insertion are faster than the dynamic web pages because static web pages do not need the appeal of a server like dynamic pages. So we have quite a lot of differences between the two. And also the question comes at the end, which one should you choose? Okay, if you if you already own a website, you can tell whether it's a static or dynamic by noticing whether the page is an interactive one or if only contains content that is meant to be read or printed out. If it contains content that is meant to be read or print out, then you know that that is static. If you want to build a website, you need to make your choice based on the purpose of the site. So you need to know what is the purpose of this website that I'm about to develop. If it's a website just to share information, then okay, you opt for a static website. But if you want to have a lot of interactive or interaction with your users, then you need to select the dynamic website. Most people prefer dynamic website because they are easier to maintain in the long run. They encourage efficient data management. You can expand them with extra functionalities in the future. So you can go ahead and read the differences and you as a developer can, deci can also dis uh, decide what type of websites you would like to work with. So having said that, you can basically go below at the quiz and just take a quick quiz in order for you to you know, to conclude and tell me if you do understand the difference between the two. Enjoy your day. Bye.